Hey, what it do, spiritual fam? I'm about to bring you a message from the ancestors, the message from spirit. Talk to me, spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. Spirit want me to let y'all know. Some of y'all get ready to go <laughs> through an ascension. The uh, full moon in Aquarius is on the 23rd. So a lot of y'all are going to get affected. Some of y'all are going to go through ascension. Like I said, it's going to be like the flu-like symptoms. So I'm letting you know to prepare for it now. Mines have started. Make sure you get plenty of rest. If spirit tell you to no more social distancing, take a social media fast, do it. If he tells you, if they tell you to rest and get plenty of sleep, sleep, do it. Because it's going to be a huge transformation and a lot of y'all going to affect it. Make sure you get some Saturday tea. If you don't have Saturday tea, get you some chamomile tea or a tea of your choice that spirit is telling you. Blink plenty of water and a lot of meditation. Y'all can right go through an energy shift. I'm here mostly. This is me. This is my one that's strongly intuitive. I'm hearing Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgos, Geminis. Y'all can right go through one. So if you start feeling like, oh my God, am I catching something? You can go to the hospital all you want. If there's nothing medically wrong with you, like I tell you, it's the spiritual flu. Some of y'all gonna uh, experience an intense stomach pain. I mean, this stomach pain is like, your belly is on fire, yo. It's gonna really, 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 really hurt. You're gonna be drawn up like you're in pain and there's nothing you can do. You can go to the ER, you can go to the urgent care, but they're gonna say there's nothing wrong with you because you're going through a spiritual extension they fucking with your intuition. Remember, this is your solar and sacral and your root chakra is all in here. No, I'm not touching myself, but it's all in here. And they get ready to go. You get ready to go through it. Y'all get ready to go what I'm calling a spiritual death. Y'all get ready to experience that. Severe headaches where you want to cry. Like I said, you can go to the ER, but they're not going to find nothing wrong with you. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you to prevent it now. You need to uh, start resting. You need to stay under prayer and meditation. You need to drink lots of tea. Right now, I'm drinking Saturday tea mixed with ginger and honey. A lot of y'all need to go through that. My little thing fell off in my tea, so I'm not going to drink no more of that. Spirit wants y'all to set boundaries, avoiding toxic people. And just say not today because when you're going through this spiritual transformation, a lot of people are going to be trying to aggravate you. This is a test. The enemy will use any person by any means necessary. Family members, children, co-workers, strangers, bill collectors, anything like that to get to you. Because you need to preserve your energy. Some of y'all are going to meet friends, friends with benefits. Y'all need to be open and say, if you don't want no relationship, you need to tell this person, I just want to be friends with benefits. I'm hearing friends for sex magic benefits. But also ask your team because sometimes that person is not from your tribe. Y'all cut from two different cloths and you're not supposed to be intimate with that person. If you notice that you're getting a BV or yeast infection, your pH balance is off. Your body's rejecting this. Men, you can get BV. Men, you can get yeast infection. Men like that, it's still that. You have a hole. You have a urethra, just like a woman has a urethra. So you can start getting that. Start paying attention. If they throwing you off, that person's not meant for you. Spirit wants y'all to take a chance of faith. Take that leap of faith and understand you're divinely protected. Some of y'all need to uh, cleanse your aura. I'm going to show you how, tell you how to cleanse your aura. You cleanse your aura after your shower or whatever. Take a spiritual milk, milk, uh, milk bath. Then you're going to lay down in meditation. You're going to lay flat on your back, legs straight, arms straight. And you're going to imagine a bright light just scanning your body. Because some of y'all aura feel is dingy as fuck. Spirit is saying take a chance of faith and understand that you got it. If you ask them to cloak you, 
they will cloak you. Some of y'all gonna receive a text message from a past person. This is because y'all going through a test. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ask to be clear. Y'all ask for people to fall off so you can get this new beginning. They're gonna see if you're really true to your word before you get this blessing. Spirit really wants y'all to learn to express yourself. Some of y'all have an entity attachment. It's because y'all conjuring up spirits and you're not supposed to. Some of y'all are not supposed to follow the dark path. Some people, how could I put this? Some of y'all are already born as a high priest and high priestess. Some of y'all don't need to be initiated through the IFA or the um, or the voodoo religion because it's your birthright. Like I said, that's why you have all these Lawas, these Orishas. You are a Pathion. But some of y'all are following the wrong path. Some of y'all have the gift where y'all don't have to conjure up no type of demon to read people. It's a natural gift. Like I said, everyone's gifted, but everyone is not chosen. So some of y'all are following the wrong people because they telling you, you need to work with this deity. You need to work with this demon. You need to work with this demon. And that's not your birthright. Some of y'all are not meant to do witchcraft. Y'all need to stay away from witchcraft because that is not your calling. Some people are called to do witchcraft. Some people are voodoo priests and voodoo priestess that come from a long line of witchcraft and warlocks and sorcerers. Some of y'all are not. Y'all need to find y'all true calling. And because y'all getting off path, you get entity attachment. Some of y'all get ready to meet a mama's boy. This person, y'all relationship is not going to work because this person needs healing. He tells his mama everything. He be like, you need to learn how to cook for my mom. She'll show you. Or he's always telling his mom everything. Spirit is saying you need to cut that cord or start setting boundaries. Saying not today. Spirit is saying some of y'all because y'all so vulnerable. Y'all so want a relationship so bad. Y'all not taking the time to heal. Y'all not taking the time to get to know what you want. When a person loves you, they will accept you. They will not make you change. If some of y'all are changing for the wrong individual, you fell for their lies, release them from your aura. It's because you getting, it's attaching to your aura. You believe everything they say. It's because they know your weakness. This is, you can remember, there's two type of empaths. There's a narcissist empath, the black empath, and the light empath. The narcissist empath is the black empath. Those are the ones that always come and telling you, like say I'm vulnerable and I've been in domestic violence and I'm needy. They can read your energy. Energy. That's why you keep attracting the same type of individuals because you have not released them from their aura and you haven't healed. Some of y'all are going to be falling for their lies. Spirit is saying release them from their energy. Spirit is saying some of y'all need to go on a fucking girls trip. Fuck spirituality. Spirituality is your path, but they want you to take your mind off of it because that's all you're doing is 24-7 is talking about spirituality. You need to go and enjoy your life. Spirit is saying some of y'all, not all of y'all, whatever y'all manifesting and y'all putting in the hard work, the answer is yes. You got to say the affirmation, positive energy flows through me now and always. Some of y'all are seeing the number six. Six means balance between earthly realm and spirit realm and start using your intuition. Number 44 means financial abundance, a manifester. So when you're starting to see 44 a lot, that means you're in your manifestation vibration that be careful what you say and think. Your prayers have been answered. That's why I said for some of y'all, whatever you manifesting, the answer is yes. Also, you gotta remember God's rejection is your protection. Spirit is also saying be careful all eyes is on you. Somebody's watching you. Some good, some bad. Somebody is watching y'all. So you got to be careful who you let in your space, who you let in to mentor you. Everyone is not a good mentor. Everybody's just, there's some people that are just money hungry. They will tell you anything to get your money. And there you are when it's time for you to need help, they can't help you. Or they don't answer your calls, things like that. Once y'all go through this spiritual ascension that's about to take place for some, your heightened awareness is about to heighten. You are intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface, and you are right. You're going to start noticing you're more intuitive. Your, uh, your spidey senses, your uh, spiritual gifts are getting stronger. Spirit wants y'all to spend time alone because some of y'all need to lay off Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, 
whatever. If y'all see me disappear, and if I'm not out of town, it's because I had to cut it off because I'm going through in the spiritual transformation right now. And some of y'all are really going to get it. I'm talking about somebody who's going to have severe abdominal pains. And this, they, they, they curing you. They getting a lot of stuff out of you because you have inner child trauma. You have a lot going on. You have a lot of things in here. And they got to burn that motherfucker out of you. They really want y'all to start spending time alone, sitting in nature, sitting by the park, sitting by the water, walking outside, getting that vitamin D, sun gaze for like five minutes, get some vitamin D from the sun about five minutes. That's going to help with your third eye. It's going to help open it up. Quiet introspection is needed. Disconnect, relax, turn off your electronics, and just be. They want you to spend a long time with your team. Paradigm shift. Letting go of outdated and infected thoughts. Some of y'all here ain't go through it. I'm seriously. Y'all get ready to go through a major spiritual transformation. Some of y'all get ready to start your ego death, y'all. Some of y'all get ready to get crucified to the cross. Spiritually. Y'all about to spiritually die. And the shit don't feel good. If you start noticing this part right here is aching real bad. They trying to declassify, declassify your third eye. But I'm telling you, someone's going to have severe abdominal pains where you just want to cry. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? Show me clearly. Someone's mediumship is about to, uh, you're not even going to realize that it's pop. It's going to start getting stronger. Someone's clairs, all y'all clairs is getting ready to get stronger. It's time. It's time. Something is about to happen. It's getting close to October. So a lot of y'all have to go through this spiritual death to prepare y'all for what's about to take off late September, early October. A lot of y'all get ready to get wisdom. Y'all asking for a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Y'all get ready to get shown the direction, the path. Slow down and be still enough to hear your inner wisdom. This is something about this the paradigm shift. And spending time alone, you get ready to go through something. I'm going through it now, man. I, I'm not feeling myself, but they gave me enough strength to talk to y'all today. Some of y'all going to have past life memories. Y'all going to be in meditation. Y'all going to dream about some past life. Some of y'all have reincarnated so many times. Some of y'all have reincarnated more than the earth because y'all was a spirit before humans were created. Remember, God created humans on the sixth day okay there were spirits here before humans was some of y'all don't let your memories prevent you from moving on choose to make new ones this is someone coming from your past life also you're going to get a text an email you're going to get some form of communication this is them testing you to let you know you're stronger than what you are don't give in to temptation even though you're horny you're horny and you want that ding -a -ling, or you want that poom poom don't give in to it. This is a test. Some of y'all are asking for divine help. This is what I'm saying. They want you to spend time alone, get off social media. They want you to just go off the grid for a minute. You are protected. Your guardian angels are working with you. This is what I'm saying. Don't have no room. Cleanse your aura. Clear your aura. I just gave you an example of how to do it. Perspective. Seeing from a higher perspective can have help you see the situation in the new light. Seeing things differently. You're going to be divinely guided. What other messages do you have? I'm telling you. Some of y'all going to be like, oh my God. I'm telling you, this, this shit hurts. I wouldn't lie to you. Learn to breathe. Your breathing is very powerful, especially when you have an anxiety attack. Focus on your breathing. Your breathing is really going to help you. Purging. Some of y'all going to get purged. This is what I'm talking about. The deep pain that's going to be happening in your stomach. I call these talk to me spirit cards. Pretty soon I'm going to be making my own tarot deck. It's going to be called talk to me spirit cards. Also they made by La Serena and Yemiya, my spiritual team. But a lot of y'all going to be purging. Purging. I mean this shit's going to hurt. I wouldn't fucking lie. Someone is going through a major transformation. I'm hearing Gemini's. Y'all really going to get affected. So if you got Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or, or in your chart, you're going to be getting affected. Also, my Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgos, Pisces, Libras. 
Y'all going to go through this major transformation because y'all getting purging. Y'all going higher. Y'all stepping into y'all higher. Aquarius. Aquarius. A lot of y'all going to go through this purging and transformation. Fuck it, man. Just, just about all the Zodiacs then. Leos. They coming out. Y'all going to go through this. I mean, be careful. Some of y'all are going to start soul traveling this fall. Y'all have the gift of soul travel, which means y'all have the gift of timeline jump. Timeline jump. I'm not going to explain it. Google it. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all going to go through a major transformation this fall. Y'all going to go through a major purging. They're going to shed you like a snake. Y'all going to shed your old skin. Some of y'all have the gift to uh, soul travel. Leo, y'all have the gift. Aquarius, y'all have the gift. Gemini, you have the gift. Even if you sun, moon, rising, if you have it in your chart, you have that gift. You can have, you might not have been born a Leo, but it could be your moon or your rising. You might not have been born Aquarius, but it could be your moon or your rising. You might not have been born a Gemini, but it could be your moon or your rising. Okay? So just because you wasn't born that certain sign, majority of the time, whatever your moon is, that's what really what you are. What else message? Some of y'all going to go into a fully awakening. Y'all already awakening, but this is like stepping higher into your awakening. Y'all going to have choices. That's why I'm saying you're going to get faced with something in the past and something in the future. And you got to decide. This is where you're going to face with your shadow self. And it's going to cause a lot of triggering. So if you're not doing your shadow work, it's going to fuck with your triggering, your inner child. So you're going to have to really, really go in it. My Aquarius, my Leos, my Gemini, y'all really going to get affected. Virgos. Winter time, fall and winter, y'all really going to be stepping in this because they're going to prepare you for spring. Spring is going to be your rebirth. So this fall and winter, from in from October to February, the veil is thin. That's why it says fall and winter. Y'all going to go through a fully awakening and y'all going to go through some shit. So you're going to go right now, it's going to be called your death. It's going to call be a spiritual death. So it's going to wake all up your fucking clairs and it's going to make you prepare for your new year, which is spring. Remember, spring starts when things come alive, not January. That is not new year. New year is when things start coming alive. So they're going to prepare you for this and victory is yours. So like I said, some of y'all, if y'all see me just vanish, I love the ones that check on me. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. That makes me feel good. Cancer, you have a secret lover. Cancer, sun, moves and rises, secret lover. Some of y'all gonna start meeting this secret lover. Secret lover, yeah, that's what he is. Her, she is. Y'all got a secret lover and it's about to be revealed. What other messages? What other messages do you have for them? Into the unknown, y'all get ready to go deep into the unknown. You must perceive without knowing what the future holds. Conquer your fear of the unknown. Some of y'all are going to be forced, forced to do shadow work. Going to be forced to face your traumas and your inner child because they've been asking y'all to do it and y'all not going to do it. So by this fall, winter, like I said, y'all get ready to go through it. Can't say nothing. I told y'all. Y'all been warned. Y'all been warned. Y'all gonna be crying. Y'all gonna be like hair standing up. All this shit's gonna be going on because you've been warned. Game of conquest. This new love that's getting ready to come in will try hard to win your heart. Secret lover. Yeah. That's what they are. Be certain it's not a game. So, like I said, some of y'all are going to be having secret lovers coming in. Some of y'all are going to be having a past that ghosted you. And you're like, where the fuck did he or she go? This is a test to see if you're going to use your intuition. What other mess? I mean, messages do you have for them, spirit? Some of y'all are going to say, what the fuck am I in? What is going on? Some of y'all are in a toxic love. This is releasing. I'm like, y'all going to get a DM, a text from somebody that's toxic. Remember I said some of y'all are going to, it's time to meet your twin flame because there's a lesson that needs to be learned. A love interest will be, will see to be, uh, a, love, a love interest will, 
Oh my God, hold on. A love interest would seem to bring out the worst in you, but you can't seem to stay away from each other. That's a twin flame spirit is saying. Some of y'all got a cage love. It's like y'all codependent on this motherfucker. It's like when he say jump, you say hi hi massa. You know, my love interest might be stifling your potential and cramping your lifestyle. There's no time for that because you can't grow. You codependent. Deep down, you asking in your subconscious mind that I, I'm tired of living here. I can't do anything because this is a cage love. Once again, shadow work came up. Like I said, this relationship that's going to come in is twin flame or whatever is going to help trigger you because you're not doing shadow work. You're not taking the time to heal. This relationship will trigger you to express your shadow side. That's much you can learn. So if you've been molested, raped, you got mommy issues, daddy issues, that's going to come out to the surface. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? Love for you. I do. Some of y'all block from love because y'all fucking to be fucking y'all nymphos. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wonder why everything can't have no children. You wonder why your relationship is fucked up because they want you to take the time and heal and face the things that you don't like about yourself because you keep settling. There may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love. It's time to release it. But some of y'all are rebounds. That's why y'all going this and it's not working. It will be hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who's already involved. Get your own fucking woman. Get your own fucking man. Leave the other person wrong. Some of y'all going to be divinely guided to this individual. This love will be divinely guided because his ancestors and your ancestors, and if you're in the same sex, hers or hers, his, his, whatever, they having a meeting in the upper room. They having a meeting. This will be divinely guided. Trust the process in this relationship. You're exactly where you need to be. Some of y'all are doms and subjects. You could be dating someone that would be very dominant. This is this alpha male, alpha female. It's up to you if this is the kind of relationship you want. If you like to be dominated, do you like to be slapped with a whip? Do you like to be choked when you're having sex? This is up to you. Some of y'all want to meet it. Some of the ones going to meet a relationship that's going to transform you to a 360. I mean, this love will be loved deeply, transformational for something new and a powerful. This person is going to awaken your kudalini. It's going to wake you your demigod and your demigoddess. Y'all need this. This is a soulmate, but it's not going to be the one you're going to marry with or settle down with. Some of y'all are into a materialistic love. Y'all going to meet a gold digger, male or female, spirit is saying, because you didn't have nothing. They left you. Now you rising up and getting stuff. They're going to try to enter into your life. Don't be stupid. You stick to the ones that was there with you when you didn't have nothing on your art reason. Let's hope this relationship is not just about the money and the gifts. You will only end up feeling miserable because this is what that person only wants from you. Spirit said, leave it alone. This is a time for love. Like I said, this is a time for spiritual and extension and waking up. Some of y'all, you ain't going a blind date. He ain't going to be your cup of tea. But remember, the eyes is a gateway to the soul. Meeting someone new. Like I said, what you think is handsome, I might think is ugly. What I think is ugly, might you might think is handsome. That's your cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? But y'all get ready to meet somebody. But like I said, opposites attract. I'm going to put it that way. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan to say the day. They want you to live your life, okay? You can get over this individual that passed. You can get over this religious uh, um individual that you broke up with some of y'all have an addiction i'm hearing sex addiction some of y'all fucking nympho that's why your system that's why you all fucked up that's why you having miscarriages because you fucking with somebody that's not supposed to be in your womb there's a lot of men you have a problem if you notice like it's getting soft or you just ain't like that because you're not supposed to be fucking with this woman some of y'all codependent. Some of y'all get high too much. It's okay to get high. But some of one, as soon as y'all wake up, y'all shaking and baking. As soon as you can't wait to get off work because y'all shaking and baking. Some of y'all are getting too high. Spirit is saying, calm down. Some of y'all are indulging in alcohol. Alcohol is called spirits for a reason. You are attracting malevolent and malevolent. And they are not your spiritual team that's clouding your judgment. You make the wrong decisions. You wonder why things are not happening because you're drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol is spirits, okay? Uh, some of y'all are spending foolishly. 
some of y'all are just eating too much. Y'all need to stop. Some of y'all have a sugar addiction. Someone has an a Amazon addiction. You know, hammer, okay? Sabotage, rebuilding your credit. Spirit said y'all need to start rebuilding your credit. Some of y'all being sabotaged, be careful with these loans. Y'all going to payday loans or whatever, that's wrong. You need to stop. You need to learn to put some aside like that. Because you're obsessing too much. You're spirit, you spending too much money. Enter, uh, yeah. QVC or whatever. Things like that. Y'all, y'all, y'all into it too much. What other messages? Soulmates. Someone, y'all got soulmates coming in. Remember, we have several soulmates. Don't be yeah, the fuck all of them. Okay, you only have one. Well, you have two twin flames. You have a twin flame, and then you have a soulmate twin flame. Your soulmate twin flame is your demigod, or your demigod is your Boaz. All right? But some of y'all are going to meet some soulmates. This is a soul connection that's going to help you. This is a partnership. This is a soul contract. And some of y'all soul contract with y'all soulmates is about to end. Okay, some of y'all getting stabbed in the back, so you got to be careful who you let in your circle. Like I said, cleanse your aura. I just told you that. If this is not your story, don't make it yours. If you want me to give you a story, book with me. My uh, website and my uh, business telephone number is in the description box. But those who are new to me, welcome. I will ask y'all to please like, subscribe, comment, share to get my viewers up. If I can get my viewers up, I can go live and get free readings. So that's the point. I'm trying to get my viewers up. So y'all are my word of mouth. Share it. Even if they don't, just tell them to uh, subscribe or view it. It's up to you. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Namaste. I see you.